Hey guys, welcome to game four, Facebook versus Amazon. Bottom right hand corner, Cicero is going to be fielded by Amazon. It's the orange Protoss, upper left hand corner. We have Bingo Bango, the blue Zerg being fielded by Facebook. Apparently they are long-term buddies. Cicero, aka Neil Self. I think last time I tried to say that. I didn't know, I don't know why I had trouble with it. I just said like Neil Self. Sounded like something out of a They Might Be Giants album. Istanbul played backwards is what I'm trying to reference there. Bingo Bango opening up with a joke, which might indicate some cheese. Oftentimes, or maybe trying to put Cicero on edge at the very least. But Cicero opening up with an interesting build of his own. Pylon first. Now a lot of this is going to come down to scouting. So Probe moving out looks like he's going to examine that upper right hand base first. Bingo Bango with an extractor cancel. This is Lewis Brandy, by the way, software engineer. Tends to be a lot of these software engineers are in a, a tight-knit circle, particularly at the higher levels of Amazon, Microsoft, etc. Facebook. He is, uh, according to his profile, he can harness this, the power of rage, which is very powerful in Zerg hands, as evidenced by Idra. Saying power too many times in that last sentence. Trying to prod and poke Cicero a little bit. Cicero confessing his love for mom and pop bookstores. Maybe a little bit sad about killing them with Amazon. So there's the Forge for the Forge Fast expansion build. A lot is going to come down to this probe and its initial scouting. There's a spawning pool about halfway finished. So a couple questions now for Cicero. One, how many larva? Well, actually first, timing the spawning pool. Then, how many larva are going to be spawned into Zerglings? It looks like there are not a lot of larva being saved. Probably not going to see a full complement of six. So probe now inside of the base. Didn't want the APM, one vision. There we go. It's kind of an odd place to put it. V. Spawning pool, just now finishing. Cicero, in fact, sees it. Now he can swing around one more time, get a good look. Still no probe at his natural expansion to even build anything currently. Kind of critical moment to do it. And he's going to see a single cocoon. So he's going to open up Nexus first. Nice play. Strong economic opening. Very intelligent. Even if one or two of these Zerglings sneaks in, can easily be dispatched. Well, they can be annoying, but they'll get some scouting information, but that is about it. Speaking of scouting information, the drone is cycling its way through. It is going to be able to sneak into Cicero's base, and it is going to be a while before that drone gets kicked out because Cicero is not going to have any attack units to deal with that drone for quite some time. Cicero attacking on an assimilator in the meantime, rather than gateway. Looks like perhaps we need to complete this front door wall. Now, this is, and it looks like Bingo, Bingo Bango also taking a hatchery at his natural. So this is kind of an interesting play from Cicero. One of the classic problems in Taldrium Altar, this map, is outpacing your opponent and getting out to your third base before they're able to just repeatedly deny it. One option is to just go mass infantry, three gate build, uh, go out, take that natural expansion, then just slowly work your way up, take that third, get the death ball rolling, and work across that map. Zerg mobility can be very difficult to deal with in that situation. This is kind of taking the opposite approach. He wants kind of a macro race. And unfortunately, macro races against Zerg do not often fall in favor of the Protoss player. But Cicero, no pressure, plenty of drones. Maybe, maybe he'll just be able to outproduce harvesters. But you'll see even right now, even with a fast nexus. And wow, Cicero just pumping the probes. Still no indication of tech. Ooh, that drone with just a little bit of help left, it might be killed early. And also grabbing gas, which suggests to me that we're going to see some tech. Yes, gets the drone before really any tech is planted on top of that. I'm almost thinking we might see an air attack now from Cicero, just considering how long he's been sitting on this gas and the fact that he has yet to build a gateway. Now the thing for Bingo Bango on the opposite side is will he get any anti-air? And on top of that, I think he should feel free, one, to produce a lot of drones, but also to per perhaps even go and take a quick third base. Because the complete lack of infantry and pressure that Cicero can currently apply, it's immense. I like Bingo Bango moving this Overlord as well up to the corners where you can get some scouting. He has some nice vision going. First of all, Zerglings. You can just see how much map vision he has on this side. The Cicero Quadrant, I shall call it. Second Photon Cannon preventatively for Cicero. I think I saw an additional probe march in here, which is great. I think he's going to, in fact, see that hatchery building. Let me double check that. On Cicero's vision. Grab that. Yeah, he is going to see that layer tech going. I did, in fact, see that on the mini-map. 
Speed being upgraded, Bingo Bango hurting himself though. He's supply capped, having to build two overlords. And again, this is a macro race at this stage. Very important to produce as many drones as quickly as possible. So, so spreading these pylons out. A lot of place to put techs off. Yeah, definitely got to be going air because second assimilator again, actually four assimilators, all saturated, still no gateways in addition. So harvesting a lot of gas. In fact, he's going to be up to that 400 count very rapidly. Chrono boosting warp gate out. So maybe I, I could be wrong on this. But in the meantime, very clever from Bingo Bango. Going to completely skip all of this. Nidus network in conjunction with this overlord on the corner. And keep in mind Cicero, oof, just now going Stargates in the additional gateway. He has no ground units to speak of. He's got two sentries. So he's going to have to pull probes. And even though he will be able to spite, uh, spite, spot this Nidus network, which is now producing, oh my goodness, Nidus worm. Cicero needs to pull probes now. He's pulling everything off to try to deal with this. This is going to be close. Three-fourths finished. Tons of Zerglings in there. This could be game right here. Nidus worm. Oh, only three Zerglings get through, though. Fantastic play from Cicero. Three Zerglings he can deal with with the sentries and the probes. Still might lose a few here. The Zergling's going to scout. They're going to see some Stargates. Let's see how... Uh, and it looks like we do have a Hydrosten and Evolution Chamber in production. Zergling speed's going to make them really annoying to deal with, though, in the meantime. It looks like they are going to get a little bit of surround. That is going to disrupt Cicero's economy. Cicero, uh, yeah, getting those Void Rays now. The Sentry's just holding you to that corner. Want to make sure that Overlord isn't able to draw... And that's smart. Making sure they're not dropping another Nidus Worm. And instead, just focusing on the Zerglings with his probes. Because they are pretty weak. Small units. Nidus Network, though, gives Bingo Bango some huge map control. That Those Hydralisks should be able to deal with those Void Rays without too much trouble. Very strong against all gateway compositions. Keep in mind, even though Cicero opening up air, that means no Robo, that means no Colossi. And there's not a lot else in the Protoss composition that can deal with huge amounts of Hydralisks. The one thing I do have to say for Bingo Bango, not a lot of creep spread. He needs to work on that and maybe even take his third right now. Now that he knows, essentially, he can hold Cicero's army back for quite some period of time. Interesting play from Cicero, though. It's definitely delaying that third base, though, because these Zerglings could die. Let's pretend there's a Nexus going up here. You could dive in, kill it with the Zerglings, back out before those Void Rays were really able to do any significant damage to that Zergling force. And on top of that, that means those Void Rays are not out in the field. Cicero, in the meantime, really teching up. That's four Void Rays and a ton of Gateways. So, whew pushing a large amount of tech to follow this up. Keep in mind, Cicero loses this game. Facebook takes a victory that is desperately needed. Two Phoenix is also coming out, so it's going to be a heavy aerial assault. Unfortunately, they're going to be going up against the one of the best Zerg units, I should say, rather than the best, against the air. Hydralisks. Void Ray's already attacking that extractor. Five Hydralisks already with a Queen to engage, and that one Void Ray might die already, depending on positioning. Yes, one down, and this assault has been completely shut down. Sierra, in the meantime, opening up that gateway. Overlord's nearby. For how long, though? Yes, they can provide Nidus Worms. But I'm looking for those Zerglings to re-enter the fray. It looks like instead they're finally opening up this third base for Bingo Bango. I was hoping to see that a lot earlier. A lot earlier. But Cicero, maybe he can take this base in the meantime. Use that Void Ray threat to pin a lot of these troops back. Unfortunately, for him, these Zerglings can still run and dive, take that base out, fall back. Phenomenized Carapace and Ventral Sacks being upgraded. So Bingo Bango going for the huge mobility route with these Hydralisks. Perhaps realizing he's just got a lot of map to traverse and he doesn't have the best creep spread. Cicero, in the meantime, though, has done a great job. Fantastic job of denying vision. Look at that mini-map completely dark for Bingo Bango. And it looks like even though Bingo Bango has, uh, well, actually behind in the Harvester count, even though he has more bases, not well saturated, I don't think that, yeah, that third base not even up and operational yet. And Cicero is doing a pretty good job of, of maintaining even counts as far as his unit composition goes. Well, his macro goes. And actually, brain fart there. Unit composition, though, very much in Bingo Bango's favor. Open ground fights, these Void Rays, Stalkers, whatnot, not going to do the best against Hydralisks. It's going to come down to Micro from Cicero, and right now might lose these Void Rays. Still trying to pick away at these Zerglings as he can. He does have Reinforcement Pylon just warping in. Some sentries there. It looks like the Zerglings going to try to do what they can. Force Fields blockading it. 
One Stalker going to die, but not a lot else. Bingo Bango regrouping. Very wise not to engage that, but huge amount of Overlords moving to the south for that drop. And I think he's, in fact, revealed his hand. Stalker going to be able to peck away at this. In the meantime, another engagement here in the middle of the map. Hydralisks crushing everything. They just do so much damage so rapidly. Force Field trying to block them in, but maybe it's these troops that need to flee, in fact. Yeah, in fact, they're now trying to back off. Retreat. That pylon going to get taken out. But in the meantime, these Overlords being chewed apart. Bingo Bango losing a considerable amount of resources, specifically minerals. Might be able to bail out some of them with these Hydralisks in midfield. But still, uh, he needs to play... And Bingo Bango actually in a great position. Just needs to play defensively. Zelt Leg Charge, level 1 weapons. Try to make this uh, big infantry mid-game a little bit more viable. Still, wow, that's a lot of gateways, though. I think that's more than he can really produce off... I mean, he can't really run all this. Two Stargates, it's a lot of tech to run off just two bases. It's really going to put them all in as well. Looks like this drop is, in fact, going to be revealed. More Hydralisks are, in fact, trying to reinforce. Looks like one Phoenix has been taken out. But taking out tons of Overlords also revealed, hey, yeah, there's a drop going to be happening right here, right now. Bingo, bango. Not positioning across the main is instead going to drop at the natural expansion with a oof, lot of Hydralisks. Great positioning. Looks like there's some reinforcements across the cliffside edge. I don't know if they're going to be involved in this fight or not. Phoenix moving in. He's going to be taken out most certainly. Guardian Shield up. Zealots on top of the Hydralisks though. Probes off, also pulling off the line. That's going to hurt Cicero's economy a little bit. There's the reinforcements of the Hydralisks. But Stalker's right there to clean it up. Cicero with a solid defense. More troops warping in. Looks like between that and the probes, he is going to be able to stop this attack. And on top of that, a lot of these overlords overhead looks like they're going to be killed. Might want to pull out. Bingo, bango. Yes, with these nice drops. Unfortunately for Cicero, yes, he repelled that attack. But at the same time, he's no closer to taking any sort of map control. Careful, overlords. Looks like they're on a bad waypoint. Okay, never mind. They're going to stop short. In the meantime, infestation pit in the background. Second evolution chamber. More hydralisks and melee attack being upgraded. Bingo Bango, looks like he does have that third base saturated. Should be well ahead economically as far as flat mineral count goes. As soon as he takes that additional gas, he'll be doing A-OK -okay as far as the, the gas count goes as well. It looks like he is doing that now. I can read my mind. I like that. Cicero moving up to take this third. He does have a lot of stalkers out. They are going to have that level 1 weapon upgrade. But at the same time, Bingo Bango can go take expansions on his own. Cicero's going to be pinned back trying to defend. And there's still that Hydralis drop option. There's still that Nidus Worm option. A Dark Shrine Templar Archive, so large infantry, infantry dedication from Cicero in the mid-game. Let's see if he can get the composition to get it done. A probe, very sneaky, upper right-hand base. Going to scout out what it can. Hallucination also upgrading. Cicero's spending resources as though he's got uh, a lot in the bank. And really, he does not. Down to 55 resources here. A couple Hydralisks being caught out of position. Again, probably on a bad rally, they are going to, in fact, die. Overlord going to see this expansion being placed. And Bingo Bango, yeah, taking that 9 o'clock location. He can continue to just flood out troops, take that map control. He still has a Harvester lead overall. He can saturate this 9 o'clock freely. It's more Cicero that has to worry about his map positioning and control. But he has Zealots out. Templar to reinforce. Maybe some Dark Templar could get it done as well. Only Zerglings moving across this field. And it looks like, oops, sorry about that. Most of these Zerglings are going to be killed very, very rapidly. Still able to dive that bottom right-hand corner, and they might be able to take this Nexus out. Creep being dropped. Look how quickly they take that out. Oh, it's going to be close. Not close enough for Bingo Bango. It looks like Ciro is going to be able to get this Nexus up. Which is fortunate for him. Pylons everywhere. It looks like an Overlord is going to see that pylon. Will it see this other pylon, though? This is going to be the key one. This is for the, those Dark Templar to start flooding out all over the place. And that could be the way Cicero loosens Bingo Bango's grip on this game. Although I think he's actually doing A-OK -okay at this stage. He's got his third up. He's got it basically established. Well ahead as far as upgrades. Level 2 weapons. Keep in mind, just against level 1 spines, level 1 carapace on the opposite corner. Pylons are up. There's the Dark Templar. Oh my goodness. So many Dark Templar as well. Bingo Bango has nothing to defend this. Queen most certainly going to die. And this hat... Actually, no. They're focusing on the hatchery. In the meantime, looks like a Nidus network being flooded out. The bottom right-hand corner, only three zealots to engage. Attacks everywhere. That hatchery is taken care of, but maybe this Nexus will die as well. Nope. It looks like the zealot's going to box it off nicely, and no reinforcements coming through this Nidus Worm. Entire army is there. Nidus Worm dies. Man, that died fast. 
Dark Templar finally being taken care of by that Overseer and Festers as well as the Hydralisks. But Cicero is on the move. Keep in mind, level 2 weapons. Fungal Growth is going to be the difference for Bingo Bango. Positioning going to be the difference for Sierra. He does not have Blink Upgrade on these Stalkers, keep in mind. So they're not super mobile. His main is Mind Out. Just now has that third established. Really needs to wall this off as quickly as possible. Looks like he is getting some Photon Cannons out. Waiting for some more Dark Templar. He, he has slowed Bingo Bango's economy down, but that actually might be a favor to him. Force him to actually start saturating this 9 o'clock. Then he can just resaturate this additional base and have a solid economic lead. Main is actually mined out for Bingo Bango. He is at Hive Tech. And Cicero, all of a sudden, with a big army in the middle of the field. Not a lot of High Templar in that composition, though. He's going to have to rely mostly on Zealots and Zealot Charge. He's trying to take a base to that 12 o'clock. Looks like a Zealot might be able to deny this hatchery to the 12. Looks like another Zealot. Wow. Cicero everywhere all of a sudden. And it's really doing well for him. That single Zealot is not going to be able to take out that Queen with reinforcements, though. Might be able to stop this hatchery, though, before it is produced. Never mind. Zerglings coming in to defend. Cicero buying himself some breathing room, being all over the place and aggressive. I think Bingo Bango does, in fact, have that scouted, though. Now Dark Templar sneaking in. The Dark Templar should be able to take that hatchery out. Nice. Slowing Bingo Bango down. More Dark Templar. At the 9 o'clock, upper 9 o'clock. So doing a fantastic job. There's Fungal Growth. Going to reveal those Dark Templars. Should be able to... Maybe not. There's another Fungal. Now they're wiped out. Nice play by, by Bingo Bango. But Cicero taking territory in the meantime. And it looks like he's holding it. He's also got the flat macro lead. 170 supply versus 155. And really the big story I think is the upgrade. Level 2 weapons. Working his way towards level 3. That's all. If you can hold that over the long run. And also do something uh, just versus 1-1 one, one currently. Finally, that pylon going to be taken out, but more units. It looks like just a single zealot going to be warped in. Oof, <laughs> that's that really encaved, though. Oh, huge amount of defenses. Encaved? Is that even... That's not the word I was looking for. I'll come back to that later. Mental note, right there. Adrenal glands are kicking in. Zergling's going to be much more effective now. Resaturating a little bit too early, though. At that, at that third base, natural expansion looking light, and Bingo Bango all of a sudden a little bit behind as far as his flat resource production. Should worry about this Overlord over that, and I don't think he sees it is what it comes down to. Yeah, I don't think Cicero knows about that Overlord that could produce a Nidus Canal up there. And that would be devastating. Bingo Bango with a gigantic army, though. Cicero grouping this army up. A distinct lack, though, of those higher tech units. This is only Zealots and only Stalkers, which does not do well against just flat Hydralisks. Keep in mind, Zerglings with Adrenal Glands and Fungal Growth there as well. Infestor joining that grouping, looking to drop. There's the Fungal. Now swing back around. Queen in this fight as well. Feedback going to kill it. But these Hydralisks just chewing through everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Stalkers in full retreat. There were two High Templar in there, but they mostly focused on the Infestors. Needed some Psystorm, perhaps, and Bingo Bango just crushing this army of Cicero. Cicero in a lot of trouble, plummeting down to just about 100 supply. Dark Templar warping in to clean this up, though. Might be able to take out a lot of these Hydralisks. Single Stalker looks like it got left out of the battle, providing a little bit of delay tactic for these Dark Templar to do their job, though. And in the meantime, Bingo Bango expanding everywhere. He feels very confident in his map control. Feels like he can just out-macro Cicero over the long term. Cicero, though, at 79 Harvesters versus 48, is saturating this upper right-hand base. I'm, this could be critical, though. Probe sneaking up towards the main. Will he see this Overlord and be able to stop a potential Nidus network? If he can, if a Nidus Worm drops here, that could completely change the game. And by change it, I mean end it for Sierra. Psystorm now being upgraded. I didn't realize he didn't have it up, upgraded at that stage. Seven Infestors out in the field. Huge amounts of Zerglings. Hydralisks everything moving towards that upper right hand corner. Cicero's going to have great difficulty defending it. Probe is seeing that army taking position though. It's also trying to get that upper right hand base established. And in the meantime, looks like Bingo Bango is going to fill in that economy with a large round of drones at 62 harvesters once again. And he has all sorts of bases to, uh, bases to saturate. Nice sneaky observer right there. I was hoping that would be a pylon so we'd see more crazy... Zero action. There's also this Overlord here in the corner. Keep in mind, Zero has a lot of territory he's got to cover against uh, very strong units. 
I like what Ciro, or sorry, Bingo Bango is doing here. He's actually spreading those units out to get additional vision. Doing a fantastic job of doing so. Ciro warping some more units in. More Dark Templar to the north. Looks like Zerglings are going to clean up that pylon. But it might be a little bit late. Oof, Overseers with Hydralisks though. Oh, on move command! There they switch around. Able to kill those Dark Templar. And this is really dangerous territory for Ciro. He's got a lot of holdings. He needs to win this match, keep in mind. Loses this. Facebook takes it. Zerglings gathering to the upper right. Hydralisks also grouping up. Ultralisks in production now for Bingo Bango. Chitanius plating as well, so they're going to be highly upgraded. Huge army moving out bottom left. And this could turn into a base trade situation all of a sudden. Dark Templar in there, going to try to take it out as quickly as possible. Sierra repositioning. He's definitely going to end up losing this upper right-hand corner. And it looks like he's just going to focus on taking out whatever he can in the main. Keep in mind, Zealot Stalker is highly upgraded. Bunch of infestors idly sitting nearby, and it looks like they're mostly going to be taken out before they're able to drop fungal growth or anything. Zealot's still not leg charge upgraded, though. Dark Templar crushing... Well, maybe. Looks like they're checking the, the 6 o'clock location, not finding much else. That upper right -hand corner completely crushed. Ultralisk wandering in there as well. <laughs> Sneeze commentary. Apologize. Not that I can control it. Spore crawlers, but no spine crawlers. And it looks like those Dark Templar might be able to take those Spine Crawlers out before they're even a factor. Great play. Drone sitting idly by in the meantime. Spore Crawlers being worked. The entirety of the Zerg army looks like it's coming bottom left to try to save this expansion. Never mind, repositioning going to counterattack at the 3 o'clock. Bingo Bango looks like he might be unraveling a little bit here. Having a lot of trouble dealing with these Dark Templar and his economy is actually really taking a toll. Actually, never mind, I take it back. At 67 Harvesters. But but just look at that income count, just only around the 700, 600 point. Because he just can't saturate anything and hold it. Big engagement here in the middle of the map. Zealots now with leg charge. Ultralisks getting crushed. Hydralisks being pinned back. Zealots right on top of them. Archons chewing through it. Still at level 1 weapons, only level 2 carapace. Bingo Bango now in a lot of trouble. Cicero actually has a huge supply lead. And if Cicero can get a move on, he can really hurt Bingo Bango hard. Hit him hard, I should say. Because he's only got, well, he's got bases that he needs to saturate. But economically, he's well behind. Cicero has, uh, the problem for Cicero, he needs to move on and do something, though. Because he's only got two bases running as well. That's at 3 o'clock. And right now, overall, Bingo Bango has more territory to his name. I am seeing a big Protoss Death Ball looking for some action. Looks like Blink also upgrading. Four Ultralisks going to be out in the field. That plus some Infestors. Fortunately, Bingo Bango not with a large attack army out, period. Only five Ultralisks probably when this attack engages. Five Infestors, so it's got to come down to Fungals. This is, again, very highly upgraded army, so he needs to do it in a hurry. Otherwise, he's just going to lose everything. Cicero moving in to the 9 o'clock location. That's where the Ultralisk Cavern does reside. This could be a big hit to his tech. Also expanding the upper right-hand corner simultaneously. Units all over this. Ultralisk Cavern down. No more Ultralisk. Zerglings being produced in mass for Bingo Bango to try to defend this. Counterattack from behind. Ultralisk pushing in. Infestors are there. There's the fungal growth. Four Ultralisks doing all sorts of damage, but are immortal absorbing a lot of it there on the front. Still, both armies chewing through each other. Bingo Bango. Not standing. It looks like still plenty of stalkers left over. They were able to take out that hatchery at the 9 o'clock location. Sierra crippling Bingo Bango's economy. This bottom left-hand base is not producing. I'm sorry, it's been taken out by Dark Templar in the meantime. Void Ray out of nowhere in here as well. 12, Bingo Bango desperately trying to find resources all over this map. He's actually distance mining, it looks like, with these harvesters at this 9 o'clock base. Sorry, this 3 o'clock? Getting it backwards in my brain. No, 9 o'clock. After all this StarCraft, all this time. Brain getting a little bit light. Bingo Bango on edge. It looked like he was in such a great position to take this game for such a long period of time. Cicero diving in with a huge army. 12 infestors in production. That's a lot of fungal growth potential. Oh! Dying almost instantaneously as they hatch, though. Wandering up. No fungals! No fungals coming from Bingo Bango. 
unfortunate, losing his Hydralis Den. His main is now being encroached upon. And he does not have a lot to get... Oof. He does not have a lot to hold this back. Still more Infestors hatching. I'm not even sure where the... It looks like there's going to be three here at the main. Again, is going to have to prey on some good fungal growths. And unfortunately, these Infestors seem to be exploding as they spawn. Zero fungal growths from Bingo Bango. Bad rally points. And Cicero looks like he is going to be able to take the match to force an ace match for Team Amazon. Great play. There's GG from Bingo Bango. Great play from Sierra. Wow. Great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Moving on to game five.